just starting with those last two games, it kind of felt like opponents have been able to create a lot off of the rush, big picture wise, defensively. Where does that kind of start and what can you guys do to limit those chances before they happen? Yeah, I think just being more aggressive as a team, um, not sitting back and um, our play away from the puck needs to be a lot better. Um, we've talked about that a lot and um, I think just trusting our instincts, um, playing with confidence and um, I think when we're skating as a whole, um, we give up a lot less. There's a lot less openings for other teams to get through us, like you said, in the neutral zone. So um, I think if we just skate better as a team, that'll give us a better chance to slow things down defensively. I know that the power play is kind of going through some different changes. You guys are working on yeah. stuff. But at the end of the last game, that unit that was out there, you had Yanni kind of out there with you guys. It seemed like that was one of the better looks that we've seen from the team. What's your evaluation on what's kind of growing there with your unit? Um, I think just being simple right now, especially when we're struggling, is just getting shot volume and I think we could all do a better job of getting them through to the net, not getting them blocked, especially on my part. So, um, yeah, I think we have a lot of guys that can slot in and out, whatever group that might be. So, um, we have to be confident in our abilities, whoever's out there. And, um, I think we're all familiar with each other enough, especially from the preseason with the new bodies here that... Um, wherever we might be placed, that uh, we can succeed there. When you say especially on your part, are there specific parts of your role when you're on the power play that you're focusing on that are focused for you right now? Um, wouldn't say specific things. I think just creating more space for the guys on each side to to get more shots through. I think um, my job on the back is to quarterback and um, to slow the slow the game down for them and to make things easy for them so um, when the shot's there I know I have to take it um, but on the other side of things I think I see myself as more of a passer and I'm distributing the puck on each side. When you have a goaltender like Joey playing who is so active with passing the puck how can that kind of help you guys or how does it affect you in transition? Yeah that's nice for us I think um, we know he likes to play the puck so just getting open for him, letting him do his thing back there. I think when he's making plays with the puck, he's um, feeling himself and making the big save. So um, as far as breaking the puck out, that makes things a lot easier as a D-man. Sometimes you're not able to do it um, as two people back there, me and my partner. So um, to have him being a third option for us, it makes things a lot easier and quicker. Back to the power play for a second. We've talked a bit about like uh, zone entries versus getting set up and like, you know, how entries aren't a problem getting set up has been last season and kind of maybe into this season. How do you think that has been going and what do you think you guys could do to maybe get better at it? Um, I think starting from the end, we need to come with a lot more speed and um, I think when you do that, things open up a little better for us. I think just simplifying things and you know, the plays are there to be made and to just make them even if they seem really simple and um, not very creative. Sometimes you can get over creative on the power play when you you have an extra man out there. So um, I think we just all need to relax a little bit and trust ourselves. We know um, our power play needed to be better from last year and we're two games in now and I haven't really seen the unit's been consistent since the start of preseason. So I think maybe we're just getting used to each other and um, getting used to tendencies and um, I think the chemistry is is almost there it's just a matter of execution. It's been a couple of years but does it still feel special to come back to a place where you want a Stanley Cup? Yeah it's nice to be here I'm sure Schwartzy would say the same thing um, it's a special place where I started my dream and um, you know, it feels a little bit more regular to come back now I think the first time I was coming and a little bit more emotional, but um, it's always fun to come back here and see familiar faces and friends. And um, you know, the city is great to all the players that have ever played here. So um, when you're in the community and things like that, people reach out to you and say hi. And um, yeah, it's it's always a place I know I can always call home. And um, yeah, it'll just be another special night to play here tonight. And hopefully we can get things uh, in the right direction after the game. Do you walk back into this building and get like any kind of warm fuzzies? A little bit. I mean, I've played a couple of games here now, so I'm a little bit more used to it. Um, I think warm-ups is always fun. There's always lots of people around the glass, and 
familiar fans and friends that are always um, that were always attending the games here when I was wearing the different colors. But um, yeah, it's always it's always a different feeling coming back here than other buildings for sure. And, um, and physically, how are you feeling? You feel like you kind of settled in and made up for that lost time already? Yeah, I felt great. I thought my legs were great in Vegas. Um, I think everyone's still shaking a little bit of rust off, but um, by no means is that an excuse for performance or anything like that. I think um, you know you see teams start to shape their game a little bit after they, they've played a few. So um, on my part, I know I still have a lot more to improve on, um, but by no means was that time off uh, something that I'm dwelling on or something that I'm upset about that I can't get it off to the right to the start.